Hello, my lovely viewers. I'm Joski, and today, I, uh, well, today, Nintendo released, uh, Nin Mario 35th Anniversary Nintendo Direct, just out of nowhere, they just released it. And, yeah, I watched it, like, I didn't react to it on the channel, I was, I wanted to, but I didn't find time to, and I couldn't wait to watch it, so I didn't react to it on the channel, I watched it at least twice, um, off screen, and I have some thoughts in it, so instead of just reacting to it, I'm gonna just say my thoughts on all the different things they talk about in the Direct. So this is Mario's 35th anniversary. It's been 35 years since the first Mario game, Super Mario Bros. So I'm just gonna go through all the things I mentioned in the Direct and give my thoughts and opinions on it. So, let's start. Okay. It's debut on NES in 1985. Okay, yeah, so they have this on, like, yeah, on, like, a Game & Watch. Like, I didn't know they had these. Like, they have, like, a cool Game & Watch system that has, like, the original Mario on it. Plus the Lost Levels, and, a, and this really cool clock, which I think is pretty cool. And in honor of the game's 35th anniversary, yeah, and also a bunch of little Easter eggs, so that's really cool, I like that. In addition, you can play the and, yeah, Mario and the Lost Levels. Game on it, as well as an and this of the title game? <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed Mario. to be. Game and watch Super Mario and it's available Brothers on, Nintendo, on November 13th. Like, a lot of these games are coming out, like, soon. Okay, the next one is something... Yeah, Super Mario 3D World is finally coming to the Nintendo Switch. Um, I love Super Mario 3D World, and I'm surprised it took them this long um, to port it to the Switch. Like, the game just feels, like, so perfect for the Switch. Like, the multiplayer... Just makes it feel like so perfect for the Nintendo Switch. But also, like if you look closely, but something that's that like people notice is that the game runs a lot faster on the Switch. Like the characters move a lot faster on the Switch version. <laughs> this it also like includes this. Like, where is it? I didn't get to it. Where is it? Yeah, it includes this new mode called Bowser's Fury. Well, and I think it's more than a new mode. Like, look at this. It starts on, like, this really stormy, like, rainy, dark setting, which is very unusual for 3D World, which is usually all perky and happy. Like, look and look at this. <laughs> look at this. It's like a little super bell, but with spikes on it. It's, it's really weird. It's it's very interesting. Like this is probably the thing I'm most excited for in this direct, just because I want to know what Bowser's Fury is. Like what is that? Like it's literally in the title. It's called Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Like that must mean that it's not like a new like game mode or anything. It has to be like something huge if they're gonna put in the title. Um, but yeah, I don't. Like, I wasn't expecting this, like, if, like, I was expecting new content to be added to 3D World in a port, but, like, I thought it's just gonna be, like, a new character or something, but, like, this is a whole new, maybe, like, game or something, and I, I'm not complaining, like, that's awesome, <laughs> like, like, I wanna buy this, like, I love 3D World already, and just get this, but sadly, it comes down like six months, which is really sad. Also, also, um, apparently, 3D World also has online mode. They just didn't mention it in the um, in the trailer for some reason. I don't know why they didn't mention having online mode because it's awesome. Like I saw it on the eShop eShop description and said it had online mode, which is also really cool. They really should have said that <laughs> inside the trailer. But yeah, I'm gonna try and theorize what Bowser's Fury is. Maybe it's like something where we play as Bowser. Like, maybe Bowser or Meowser. Meowser is like Bowser the Super Bell. Maybe we get to play as one of them. Like, that'd be really cool. Like, uh, that game, Mario and Luigi, um, Bowser's Inside Story, you can play as Bowser. But yeah, I really don't really, I don't really know. Oh yeah, the next one's really cool. To Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. 35. With 
It's like a Super Mario Bros. Players? Battle Royale. Like, I assume it works, like, you jump on enemies, and then the enemies go to somewhere else. And they have to try not to die. So it's like a Super Mario Battle Royale, which is really, really cool. This is really, I think it's cool. Actually, I think it was actually an idea taken from a fan game, which they deleted. And so that's made people think that maybe they were making their own. Maybe Nintendo was making their own. Use the item roulette and these four strategies <laughs> like it's really cool to try to outpace your opponents. Keep going until you're the last Mario. Yeah, then yeah, so yeah, it's a Mario Battle Royale. Mario, Mario Platform Brothers Battle Royale. And yeah, it, it's available on October first, and sadly you only play you can only play until March. Yeah, until March thirty first, two thousand twenty one. That'd be really cool if you could just play it, like, forever or whatever. But, like, you can only play it for a limited time, like, that sucks. It would be really cool if you could, um, play it for longer. Oh yeah, and also it's like this Mario Kart AR thing. Like, I think it's really cool and a cool idea, but... I probably am not gonna buy it, because, like, you have to play, like, the toy... ...and the game. Like, if you look at it online, it costs like $99. And at that point, why not just play like normal Mario Kart for like $60? Like, I just don't think this is worth it. Like, it's, it's a cool idea. Like, I'm not saying it's, it's not a cool idea. Like, it's a really cool idea, but it's just, I don't think it's worth it. I think just Mario, normal Mario Kart is better and it's cheaper. So, yeah, I don't, it's, it's cool. It's called Super Mario Home Mario Kart Home Circuit. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm probably not gonna buy it, but hey, so basically good for some people, right? Years of Super also, Mario all these like different cool things you can from get. now through March 2021. You can enjoy the 35th anniversary of yeah. Super Mario Brothers in these ways. Yeah, there's like these cool, all these different like mission things. Like missions, that's cool. Then you could receive cool rewards. Including a special pin set. Ooh. I I want this pin set. <laughs> like I actually want this pin set. Like it looks really cool. I really love the the Mario in the Super Mario Odyssey style. Um well the Super Mario Odyssey Mario and like the old timey Mario style. Like I don't think we've ever seen that before. Like that's really cool. They're available while supplies last. So get started today and learn more by visiting the official website. Yeah, Mario that. Kart Tour also, yeah, I don't Super have Mario, Mario Kart Tour. Tour. Like, I don't play Special Mario Kart Tour, but this does also looks pretty like a neat little Mario Easter egg. And also, all this Mario merch that you can get. For purchase at the okay, I, like honestly, the shirt looks kind of shit. Like, you don't really like the way the shirt looks. <laughs> but nonetheless, you can get your get your Mario merch. Oh yeah, Ninja Speedrun. I play Super Mario Maker, so that's pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, I don't really play Super Smash Bros. that much. Super Mario series fighters, stages, and items. A Super Mario themed Splatfest is coming to the Ooh, uh, I don't I don't have Splatoon 2, so I don't I don't I wouldn't know. I don't have all these all these multiplayer games. Oh, those shirts actually look pretty cool. I don't have Animal Crossing New Horizon, so I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you can get like, <laughs> like this. I this is just so funny. You can get like Super Mario shoes, like fucking Super Mario sneakers. I did not know I needed that. That that looks awesome. I want my Super Mario sneakers. That looks pretty cool. Um, you can get like, oh yeah, I already knew about the, those. That's just kind of weird, kind of creepy. The Lego Mario, the Lego NES. More details will be available. <laughs> Stars. This oh yeah, Super Mario All Stars. Um, I actually played this. Like, it came out today. Actually, like they released it. Um, on the um Super um uh, Super NES um online thing today, and I played it. I really like it. I've actually never played Mar Super Mario All-Stars before this. 
And yeah, it's really cool, like remake of the original Mario games. Like I played the the original Mario games, they played the All Stars, and the All Stars are just so much better. They control a lot better. Super Mario they Brothers look a lot better. Super Mario Brothers Three and Super Mario Brothers. The but that's Lost not the only Lost. Super Mario All Stars in this. In this direct. The original NES and Famicom versions. Super Mario All Stars yep. will be available in the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Yep, later today. Nintendo I already played these, later today. and I enjoy them. How is and here. So far? Is the the, the moment we've all been waiting for? Waiting for? Yes, the rumors are true. The rumors, well, sort of. The rumors are sort of true. Um, we are getting 3D Mario games at Super Mario 3D All Stars, but it's just not as good as people thought. Like I myself am, like pretty disappointed. Um, like I thought these would be bigger, like. More grand. Like, I like these games. Like, I like 64, I like Sunshine, I like Galaxy. But, like, seriously, they didn't really do anything to these games. You just ported them over. And it seems just kind of easy to me. Like, they're good games, but, like, you couldn't have done, like, anything. Well, they did some things. Like, they've ported Super Mario Galaxy. Like, that's probably the only reason I'm really gonna buy this, is because they ported Super Mario Galaxy. Sadly, though, they did not port Super Mario Galaxy 2, which is actually pisses me off more than it should. Like, they, they should have ported Super... Like, it really annoys me how they didn't port Super Mario a Galaxy 2, because, like... They remade or remastered these games. I would get why they didn't port Super Mario Galaxy 2. Just be more extra work. But they literally just ported them over. Like, and they couldn't just add one more game. It wouldn't be that hard to just add one more game <laughs> to this collection. And it would have made it so much better. Like, I like 64, but you can just play it on an emulator online. So it's really not worth anything. Super Mario Sunshine, like... It's fine, but I'm not really a huge fan of the game. Galaxy is really the only reason I'm buying this collection. And, like, I was, I was kind of expecting it to there to be, like, a Galaxy 2. Because, like, it just seems weird to just have a Galaxy, then no Galaxy 2. So, overall, I am pretty underwhelmed. Uh, like, I'm not, like, it's not that I'm not excited for these. Like, these look really good. And I'm definitely gonna buy them. And I'm definitely going to buy the games, but like the Super Mario 3D All-Stars game is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Like I'm still gonna buy the game. Yeah, like Super Mario 64 is in higher evolution. Yeah, Super Mario Sunshine is that's like six whatever screen. Like I also was kinda mad they didn't put Super Mario 64 in widescreen. Like, they didn't really do anything to the games, and it's just kind of annoying. So yeah, I'm not, like, I'm more excited for the 3D World port, because, like, I want to know what Bowser's Fury is, but, like, I'm so excited for these, but I'm more excited for the 3D World port. Because, like, these, I already know what they're going to be, they're just going to be the normal games. But, like, for the 3D World port, like, there's something mysterious about it that I, that I really like, and I think it's really intriguing. But this, eh, eh. if they ported Galaxy 2, I wouldn't be as mad, I wouldn't, not mad, but I just wouldn't be as disappointed as I am. But maybe they did, maybe they just didn't tell us. Because, like, in the, for the 3D World thing, they didn't tell us, like, it had online, which is pretty, a pretty huge thing. So maybe for this one, they just didn't tell us. I doubt it, but, like, maybe you can unlock Galaxy 2. It's probably not going to happen. It's probably just not a part of this collection, but your boy can hope, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's that's basically all. They just talk about the history of Mario, which is pretty cool, but we're not really going to get into that. So yeah, that, that, was, that was the entire Nintendo uh, Mario Nintendo Direct, and I really enjoyed it. Like, Nintendo has been really, like, dry, and they haven't really had a lot of Directs.
this year in 2020, but for me at least, this makes up for it completely. Because, like, I love Mario a lot, and I love Mar um, Mario games, especially 3D Mario games. And to just be able to play them on the Switch, I, I really enjoy that. Um, I'm, sad, I'm still disappointed they didn't port Galaxy 2, and I'm still disappointed, but like to a much lesser extent that they didn't port Super Mario 3D Land. I just think that like maybe they grouped Super Mario 3D Land with Super Mario 3D World, then port Galaxy 2 with the um with a 3D Mario collection, um 3D Mario All Stars. Then they could have had every single 3D Mario game on the Nintendo Switch, which would have been like really cool. But eh, whatever. Um, Gal Super Mario Galaxy is still a really good game. Um, I've actually never even played Super Mario Galaxy 2, which is also another reason why I'm kind of mad that didn't bring it over. But, yeah. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. I'm mostly excited for this 3D World port with Bowser's Fury, because, like, I'm really intrigued what Bowser's Fury is. Like, this scene just looks so different for a 3D World. The 3D world is usually nothing like this. It's usually got perky and happy. Then it just has this like dark, stormy night. It's really weird. I, I love the contrast. <laughs> so yeah, that that's gonna be all for this video. Um it's mostly just me giving my thoughts and opinions on um this di um, direct, but overall I think it was a really good direct. I really enjoyed it. And yeah, that's gonna be all for today. Um bye. See ya.